Hi. In this video, you will learn how to pair your controller to the cloud service Leica Connex and how to use the related settings. When you connect the controller with Connex, you can share data and files with the office and with multiple users on a construction site. A project manager or a supporter can quickly help the user by accessing the controller via Connex. The office can track the progress in real time when points are automatically synced. We start on the home page and can see that a license for Leica Connex is active, both here in the settings panel and the little globe in the status bar. Once connected with Connex, the little globe turns into a Connex symbol. Let's get to it. From settings, we tap on the clouds button. Here we see the connection page for Connex. Again, we see that the internet connection is established, but Connex is not connected. On the left side, we see three options. We tap on the option Settings. Here we use a unit already created and available in Connex. Please refer to Connex's help for how to create units. In order to use the Connex service, this created unit must be paired with the actual controller. To do so, we tap on the Start button and receive a pairing code. Going to Connex, we open the unit in the Units list and enter the pairing code. Back on the controller, we see it confirms that pairing with Connex is complete. We can close the message. In this exercise, we leave the other settings as they are and tap on OK to confirm. The Connect Disconnect option is automatically active. So, we can tap on the Connection Start button. The progress bar shows the connection is being established. Once the connection is there, both fields for Internet and Leica Connex show Connected. We tap on the Home button to go back to the Home page. In the status bar, we now see the Connex symbol. We have connected. We access the Connex settings page again. Let's have a closer look at the settings box on the right side. With the Auto Connect on, the controller will automatically reconnect when turned on or when losing connection. With Allow Tracking on, Connex tracks and shows the controller's position on the Connex webpage. Under Allow Remote, we can allow a remote screen to view or control the controller. Remote View could be useful for someone to follow or guide the controller user. Remote Control could be useful for someone to help a user perform actions or troubleshoot issues. We can disallow remote access by choosing No. The next setting, Project Notification, will show a message when files are added or removed from the Connex project. Note that Connex does not automatically add or remove files from the icon project on the controller. The controller user must actively download the new file to the icon project or remove a file from the project. Last but not least, we can choose to sync data to Connex. When on, it will sync every measured point in the active project to Connex. That's it. You have learned how to pair your controller to the cloud service like a Connex. You have also learned how to use the related settings. Thanks for watching.